YouTube, how are you guys doing? This is Drex Beat. It's been a short while. So, um, today I'm not here to show you guys any tutorial of any sort. Um, I just want to show you guys um, some few tricks on how I make my beats from scratch. So, an offer beat from scratch, nothing, just selecting samples, melodies, um, arrangement, transitions, little bit of mixing to make my drums cut through the melodies, yeah, and the bass. Yeah, so I'll just show you guys something quick, something nice that you'll be able to learn something from. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, so welcome, guys. Welcome to today's video. So, as you can see right now, I have nothing selected, I have no sample selected. So, I will show you guys from selecting samples to your arrangement to how to make a clean cut mix, mix and stuff like that. So, let's get started. So let me select samples. Let me select some quick samples. You get you get me. Okay. Go like this. So today I'll be working on let me up the tempo a little bit. So I'll be working on one thing. Yeah, let's work on one thing. So I select my samples depend I, like just basically what I'll be needing the most because I'm making up a bit and most of the time is rim shots. It's not the normal snare that you use for your trap or use for your hip hop. Like basically rim shots. You just have to use rim shots. And I have some of the best rim shots here. like using this kick a lot if you hear my beats on instagram probably maybe you won't notice though but so what i like to do is i like to reduce the volume to like 50 percent i don't know why i do that but i think it's just for me to get like a cleaner sound to go into the mixer so so let me see if I can just do something quick. There's no rushing, so I'll just do something. So just so you know these videos this particular video is not um for a beginner a beginner can be able to pick something from me but at least you should have worked with fs studio to know some of the things i'm doing a little bit you get and if you can't understand what i'm doing then i think you should start again from the scratch and go and learn your basics on fs studio so i'll just select this Let me just know what. So I'm just making something different. I'm just do it that way. Like this. So most of the time I use loops also because 
Uh, sometimes I don't like going through the stress of like creating my drums from scratch, so I just like taking shortcuts. Sometimes everybody loves that. Take shortcuts. Uh, there's no problem there. too much i don't know i feel like it's too much though let me just do this. save always always save always save and make sure you save your beats in names that you can remember so you don't start looking for your start looking for your project later on and searching and searching for hours I feel like I should put something like a bass, something in the middle. Not like bass, like something that sounds busy. Yeah, something like this. In the middle of the kick. Just to support the kick, yeah. If you ask me though, I think I'm okay with the drums like this because I don't want to like confuse. I'm not making my piano for God's sake, so <laughs> I'm just making something simple and something lit that somebody can be able to like vibe to easily because you have to consider the artist also. It's not just about you, the producer that's making the beat. You have to consider the fact that there is an artist that wants to like vibe on this and be able to like do it easily, as easy as possible. So for the drums, I think I'm okay with this. Then for the melodies, in order not to confuse you guys, so and um, cause like much edit, I don't use too much of like external plugins. I'll use stock plugins. That is plugins that comes with like FL Studio, so you get, so you be able to like work easily with that. So first thing I like to do. So as you can see, I'm arranging my beat. I'm arranging my beat continuously like this till I've been able to make my chorus so that's how I, I, I start so I've been able to make my hook so once I get to make my hook complete 
so i just just like the way you write your song the first thing most people write is the hook then they write the verse so i do the same thing i do the sa- that same technique also on making my beats you get just to make my work easy so i make the parts of the hook first then from there i can have like remove some then make it intro make it a pre-hook on the bridge stuff like that the verse you get so let's continue so I'll, now i'll be selecting I'll be doing my melody. So let me just another filter here. So you just be able to like. So since I'm done with this, let me just close this part on here. So let me use um morphine. So I won't do too much again. I'm just showing you like how you understand so how i make my stuff wait i think i have a okay let me just use e piano from ammo i think i showed this e piano in my last tutorial video so this i, lo- I love this e piano a lot i like to kill the delay because the delay on the e piano is too much so i kill it totally so the first thing i do is my chord most of the time my chord so i don't know what key should we work on let's look for a simple key actually everything is simple but the key that you'll be able to understand so let's work on e minor e minor so e minor will be e f sharp g a b c d e so that's e minor for you I'm creating a chord. So let me see what we can do on this. So. I still have to like cut it a little bit. Okay, so I just play like that, like that, like that till I get something out. to add is um uh, okay marimba so I use this marimba from citrus or citrus whatever under x nucleon synth f marimba so let's look at what we can add so let me see what I can add something it's just random so i'm not serious with this just to show you guys what i you understand so
stuff on this just to get a boom boom sound boom effect so a little bit of str strum that's alt s on your windows okay. so when you hear with you can hear the boom a little bit of guitar to it just to like follow up with the melody you get you feel me so i like guitar a lot i like guitar so i'm using this guitar from from muffin just click on open your muffin and strings so let me just look for something i would like to use Just make something easy from the from the chord. Yeah, so so i'm just trying to like play what i play on this first side and this side will lower the octave a little bit just made something out of nothing and this is beautiful believe me <laughs> this is beautiful so let me see if i can add something else again i tell you guys i will strictly be using stock plugin so i'm glad i've been able to do that keep doing that so i'll use another plugin from fl gmx i think gmx has some nice banks some nice synthesizers and stuff like that so I'll just go through and look for something. I don't know. So let me see what this sounds like. I 
think I like the sound. Freestyle lead SL LFs. Sorry. I think I like the sound, so let me listen to what working on and just see if I can play something. So I can do something like this. So just watch, just watch what I do here. See that already made the hook part of the beat <laughs> just like just like that i've made the hook part of the beat like that so because i don't have to stress myself in making and arranging making an arrangement so i just have to like do it here do it on this first part of the bar the first bar the first four bars so i just do everything there then from there i start arranging yeah so there's this I'm sorry, you guys have to forgive me, but there's this um, um, preset on purity that I like to use a lot. And because it has saxophone sound, now it's because, not that it sounds original or something, but I just like the sound. So you guys will have to like permit me to use this purity here. Yeah, so there's this preset. So this sars um stuff i like to use it a lot just for freestyle so i think after this i'll just add the bass for you guys then i'll show you guys the arrangements then a little bit of like mixing then we'll continue from there <laughs> close to the root note because it's afro beat unless you want you want like you just want to stress yourself you just have to like for me i work around the root note a lot so the melody sounds more catchy so when i start playing different things it sounds like i'm playing something similar but you hear that difference is a little bit you get <laughs>
want to add to this? Believe me, what more do you want to add to this? So let me just look for bees because I'm a modern producer. So what I like to do is um, I like to infuse a little bit of hip hop in my Afrobeat just to give because that's my sound. Just to, so the little bit of hip hop I'm adding to this is I think it will be eight to eight. I won't use the normal guitar bass or something, but I'll just use eight to eight from my collection. So this is eight to eight. I like to use a lot. So because I think it did give me that rhythm at the low end for me. Yeah, for me. I don't know about others. That's heavy. Something like this. too much let me bring it a little bit i'm not doing too much if it seems too much to you then i'm sorry but i'm not doing too much <laughs> okay with this so in the next tutorial video i will show you how i go with the arrangements but before i go let me show you from the drum again from the top so the drum from there for the next video please make sure you subscribe and watch more of my videos don't let me come to your house and come and arrest you you feel me so like the video watch more of my tutorials and get ready for the part two the continuation of this video i'll be posting this a few days maybe tomorrow next week but get ready stay tuned to my channel all right bye